Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of We The Revolution. I'm back boob and this is The Only Way Is Beastly. So this video will start off where we ended on the last video. I'll just go over this one more time. So one of us, Frenchmen marched in the streets of Paris side by side, one line after another to commemorate Jacques something Simeon, mayor of wherever. He was murdered by a furious mob, punished for a law he did not enact, but was obliged to observe. Freedom of speech killed him. If we understand this as the right to cast stones to show one's discontent, the right to murder people because you deem them responsible for your miserable life. It quite doesn't make sense to me, that one. Surely the people of Paris would prefer if we said nothing happened. Well, we shall see, won't we? Your son is rather good with the viola. He is both talented and enthusiastic. I prefer that he was enthusiastic about the law books I gave him. Maybe his destiny is to become an artist, not a lawyer. Mother likes to hear me playing, and there is nothing more boring than law. <laughs> See, he would rather let his career rely on the humours of the people. There are many ways to rescue France. Believe me, our country desperately needs something to ennoble it. The power is in the hands of the simple, illiterate people. Let him rescue the, their music, their souls, with his music. This is better than boring laws and clauses. See what you're doing? You're spoiling my child. I do not have my own children to spoil, so I am focusing on yours. Speaking of which... Oh, no, 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 no. Opening night at the theatre. Ah, so you attend the parade in memory of lynched of the lynched official. Okay, so how badly is this going to affect? Oh well, it's dropped everything with the family as normal. So we're on day three, still on Act One for Liberté. That is our new symbol of freedom. You can still smell the fresh wood. Do you feel free looking at it? Individuals like us do not need symbols, but France does. Did you hear the news of the day? People are running around like headless chickens and yelling about Louis and his entourage escaping Paris. So, we will not be enjoying the aroma of fresh wood for long. Monuments like that are not installed solely for the purpose of punishing thieves or lesser aristocrats. Do you think it wants to taste royal blood? Louis's flight was a stupid move, yet it seems it was planned. One of us will sacrifice him. That is, if they catch him. Is that why Louis visited us at the court? To manipulate us? Maybe deep in his heart he felt what the builders of the guillotine did. That someone has to be exposed as a traitor. Even if there is none. Welcome, Citizen Fidel. My name is Antoine Quentin Fouquier de Tinville. Fuck me, that's a mouthful. And the public prosecutor that has been assigned to assist at every tribunal starting from today. I should warn you that I am uncompromising, although I hope that we quickly find common ground. In happier news, the construction of the guillotine has been finished. We may begin using it today. Yes, we've seen it. The king is gone. Treason. Anyone with information about his whereabouts should immediately disclose it to the authority. From Robespierre. Okay, right. So this is page one of two. So Jean Ibert, the famous street urchin who killed the governor of Bastille uh, de Lune, oh, I'm not pronouncing that, and carried his head on a pike, has recently been detained. After the triumph of the revolution, he reached the Nadia, Nadi, oh, I don't know, something of his life, though many people still consider him a hero. They do not care that the Parisian archives are filled with complaints about thefts, robberies and assaults on women. The current case is much graver, as uh, Ibert uh, is accused of raping a 16-year-old Elodie Pontalba. The charges were brought by the victim's father, Baron Thomas de, Pon de Pontalba. It's widely known that whatever his name is, was a relative and friend of Governor de Lunacy. Looney. 
whatever. The crime allegedly took place in the tenement belonging to the victim's family. Jean was detained by people working outside while trying to escape the building. And the victim gave a written statement saying that the incident took place on a holiday and Jean used the absence of the Baron and most of the servants to break into the tenement. Once he was inside, he entered her room and raped her. Okay. So this incident was witnessed by Anne Michel, Michael, I don't know, uh, her governess. It was she who alarmed the workers about disturbing noises coming from her charges room. A number of witnesses felt obliged to inform us that Anne uh, Michelle is known for her psychotic jealousy and numerous romances with the people of France. Hmm. Okay. The results of the medical examination revealed that defloration. Uh, oh, I can't pronounce that word. Defloration, minor uh, attrition of the genital area, bruising and hemorrhaging of the arms, spine, and face. I've watched enough Law and Order to know that sounds like it's evidence for rape there. Right. Let's link these questions together, shall we? Is there any traps here? Breaking at the tenement. So I'm definitely under method. Multiple multiple complaints. Look, testimony gets down. There we are. So what's the motive? Oh, that should be hers. I know she's the accuser, isn't she? Okay. Caught in a trap. Okay. Found a trap. Yes, got them all. Got all the questions. Fantastic. Right, let's start. They're bringing in Jean. We're with you, Jean. So please introduce yourself. Jean Iberts, the conqueror of the Bastille and vanquisher of the Tyrant de Lune. I can't pronounce it. Whatever the tyrant's name is. The hero of all Parisians. So, Jean, you are accused of raping Miss... Uh, I can't pronounce her name. The daughter of the Baron. Do you plead guilty? I don't plead anything. That bourgeois, uh, that bourgeois and her counter-revolutionary father are filthy liars. We do not need to. Uh, we do. Oh, God's sake. We need to bear in mind the possibility of criminal collusion in the charges. That's right. Those rich swines love their machinations. Uh, there's uh, the evidence speaks against you. Her girlish duplicity and the Pontabella's plots prove nothing. Question time soon. Okay. So, did he know her before the incident took place? She floated with me every time she visited the Cafe Procope, and she came to every dispute between Danton and Marat. I finally gave that girl what she was asking for. So, you admit your guilt? Yes, but it wasn't rape. Show me one girl that would say no to a hero. You say that you met her at the cafe. I highly doubt that such a young lady would go to a place like that all by herself. Who said she was alone? Anne brought her, and everyone knows she likes to have fun. Are you talking about Anne Michelle, her governess? That's right. So, that's not the first time you've entered the house of the victim's family. What victim? Anyway, yes, I was there just a few times and I know it well. Let me just say that uh, Anne and I have explored every spare of the details. The old whore took the young whore for a walk. I don't like this arrogant fucker. How many of your previous victims have you raped? None. I've done many things, but luckily I'm still young and handsome enough to not need violence to be with a woman. Then what were all of the women accusing you of? No idea. They didn't complain when we were together. 
Were you ever sentenced for assaulting a woman? They never proved my guilt. And they're letting go this time too. Then why were they making those accusations? They probably just wanted money. Oh, the guilty want the, the jury wants him dead. I want him dead. Let's call in the witness. What's your name? Anne, the governess. So what do you know about the case? He's guilty and should be killed. He used our relationship to get closer to the Baron's daughter and hurt her. What do you mean? He knew exactly when the servants had a day off and when the Baron left for legislative assembly. Did he learn those facts from you? Not directly. He paid me several visits at the Baron's house. Did it not occur to you that he may be using this knowledge against the Baron's family? I see. Did the Baron know about your meetings? No, the Baron had more important things to worry about than the personal lives of his servants. So why did you neglect your duties and stop looking after the victim? That day the Baron ordered me to take care of the house and the victim didn't have any classes and was spending time in her room. So did you not hear the accused entering the building? No, I was busy in the kitchen. <clears throat> I wasn't alerted until I heard sounds of a struggle and the victim's screams coming from her room. I find it baffling that he did not hear anything before then. Can't explain that, but I was making a lot of noise while cooking. Is watching the house not one of your responsibilities? Yes, but I can't be in two places at once. So do you find particular pleasure in the abuse of women then? Why would I abuse women when there are nicer things to do with them? Well, unless they like it. Are you suggesting that the victim wanted to get raped and beaten? Didn't force her to do anything, and I definitely didn't beat her. The medical examination proves clearly that she was injured. Better ask the victim who battered her. He was furious. Oh no. That'll be a dad then. So he was furious when he found out who was in bed with his sweet daughter. Are you suggesting that he assaulted his daughter because she consorted with you? Wouldn't surprise me. Aristocrats do worse things than beating their own children. Hmm. So, did you choose her for the victim because she's related to whatever that name is? The victim is a frail girl, but did you really beat her that badly? Why would I beat her? I didn't even have to undress her. She removed her clothes by herself. She jumped out of her dress, unfastened my belt and whatever. We don't need to know. Monsieur Le Judge, I can tell you everything in greater detail if you want me to. Did she take her clothes off because you threatened her? She would have threatened me if I had refused her. Hmm... So if you want gossip, go to the mercy place. He's very cocky and arrogant. So did you choose her for your victim because she's related to whatever that name is? I didn't know you were related. Then why her? She was young, soft-skinned, very eager if you really want to know. Are you suggesting that it was the victim who initiated the intercourse? Who did what? Ah, did she ask me for, for me to caress her? Oh, she desperately wanted that. She dreamed about me for a long time. Hmm. Hmm. Let's ask him how we broke in. Use the back door. So how did you know about that? Baron's daughter told him. She also informed me that her beloved father and most servants wouldn't be at home. That's not what the witness said. So she told you to visit for that specific purpose. She was giving very clear signs. Hmm. So, are you saying that you came to the victim's house at the invitation of her? That young bitch promised me a nice afternoon. She explained everything in detail. Quiet. People, the judge is beginning to understand. Remain calm and he will soon let me go. I think so. I've heard all I need to hear you. I'm sentencing him to death. I really don't like him. He's dangerous. Multiple convictions against him or complaints. He needs to go. Was it 
counter-revolutionary in nature? I don't think it was, no. It was supposed to be equality and liberty, but it wasn't for him. Who he knew. Mm, I don't know on that one. I don't think it was. Sentence him to be guillotined. Lead him out. The evidence against him was not conclusive. <laughs> Looks like the people in the galleries don't like that. Oh, well, I got all that right. That's fine. Influence point has gone up. Reputation is up by one. Revolutionary is down by five. They really don't like me. I really need to get that door oiled. I'm not acquitting that horse. All he needed to be guillotined. Guillotined, even. Maybe I could win the heart of the crowd. Let's do a speech. <clears throat> right, so what we need to do is strategy building. So before attempting persuasion, you may explore different approaches to all the topics of the conversation. After employing every kind of emotion, you will receive an evaluation of your choices. Hmm. Okay. And characters' attitudes. I've only got one point, I think. So each attitude comes with a set of emotions that can have a positive and negative impact. Learn their effects to manipulate the people of Paris in any way you please. So the higher your reputation, the more you know about the other speaker's attitudes, and you can also obtain this information by spending influence points. Hmm. Manipulate the defendant. Crime is that. Revolution. Oh no. It's everyone else manipulates it. Let's commence the persuasion. Blah, 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 blah. It's not me that's speaking. Okay. Oh, I have to click on them. Right, okay. So, where there is a crime, there must be punishment, and we shall dish it out. Oh, yes, even the convict's ancestors shall feel the cold edge of the guillotine slicing through their necks. Oh, they don't like that there. The criminals belong in the grave. Only then we can build a better future. Let's manipulate them. So we're not worthy of that freedom if we let the old system and rotten morality poison our country. The doubtful. Reputation is down by one. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. You have decapitated a man for a little shuffle in the sheets, people. I rescued you, and now you murder me. Bye bye. For the revolution. So, due to the establishment of a revolutionary tribunal, we need to prepare an official stamp. I was told to ask you, citizen, because President de Voyer is indisposed. How much did he drink? He was not able to say, shall we? 
Let's design a stamp for myself, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, hmm. Let's go for that one. Where's the fluid elite option gone? There we are. <laughs> I like that. There's loads of options on here. <clears throat> Where's the snake one? Let's go with that one. Is that ribbon? That's a ribbon, isn't it? Let's go with the snake. Achievement unlocked. Symbol. Thank you for your time. I know it's late. The stamp should be ready tomorrow. Good night. Spend an evening with the children. God, she's still not happy. Miserable bitch. Day four. Right, let's leave it there for this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more from The Only Way is Beastly and, of course, We the Revolution, as well as other various games that, uh, that we've done videos on. So, take care. Catch you in the next video.